Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks, and I just made a video using this bird, and I was waiting for it to load if somebody's looking on Facebook for how to do a layered art out of, um, it's actually a fish, but this bird will work for it. And it's been a while, I've made, I've made quite a few uh, videos on layered art, but this is all broken apart, so we're gonna, we can use the, we need an outside layer, so we're gonna use a boundary tool. We're gonna nudge that over twice. Then I'm gonna go to, I'm gonna to the outside one step with rounded corners in black, and then that way we have an outline. Let me ungroup or break the contour apart. Now let's take this outline and nudge it back. There is your first layer your top layer, and what you can do to kind of seal that up is I'll fill that in and left click and right click, and then I'm gonna make that one black. Now we're gonna need this outline every time for the next layer. But now we're gonna to contour to the inside, 0.125, an eighth of an inch, and we're gonna do it in red. Well, you know what, we'll just do it in black. And because these are all not grouped together, it won't work. But if we go to object in group, now they works. So we're gonna change it to point, we're gonna go 0.13 to the inside. And then take your smart fill tool and fill in that spot. We'll nudge it over twice. And this is what's becoming of your second layer. I gotta remember to nudge everything twice. Or you could, I could, I got the wrong line, I got the, the line line. I want the interior line. I'm just nudging them over once, I can get them all later. And if I don't get them all, I'm not worried about it. We'd already done that one. So I'm just gonna grab these. You gotta be careful when you're using a smartphone tool. And I don't have them all, but you get the idea. And then I can left click, right click in red. And we're gonna change this and bring this in. This is your next layer. And if we wanna look, we want the outside layer to be the same every time. We're gonna control G and group, group that. We put that on top. So this is the next layer down. You're working from the top down. So you need to make a copy of that, leave that alone, ungroup that, control G or ungroup, control U, control D and make a duplicate of that copy. Cause we wanna keep using that copy. Now, if you remember, we went in and we did this now we're gonna contour again. You know what, we'll put two steps and we'll contour again and now we're gonna do the same thing. Just fill this in and nudge it over twice. And I'm not gonna do the whole bird uh, just for grins, take your time. And as you can see, the bird's changing quite a bit. And then you would just Left click, let's right click in blue. Let's turn this one blue and bring it up. That's your next layer. So if we control G and group this together, and we need to control G to group this together, this is already grouped. So we're gonna put this one here. That's our, our black is the first layer. The, the red is the second layer and the blue is the third layer. That's how easy it is and you can keep going. Now your little spots are gonna run out of spaces. So you just kind of give them up. Then your very last layer at the bottom will be just that outline. So control U and ungroup that, get that outline, control D and make a duplicate. That is gonna be your last layer. Cause that way, um, if this is, your last layer is a blue, 
Let's just go ahead and do this just so we'll know what it looks like. Let's change this one to uh, light blue. And let's put it on top of that one. That's what your layers look like. The dark blue is going to show through. Now we could do one more. And we'll do this one in green and move it over. So that's what your layers are gonna look like. It's really pretty simple, simple once you get the hang of it. Just don't ever do that with the Smart Fill tool. I would start off on something simple like this bird because it is a little bit time consuming, but it is what it is. And somebody posted this on Facebook and kind of gave me the idea again. I've made several videos on layered art. Hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.